What's up guys, DIY Salvage right here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be tackling the front end suspension and trying to get this thing steering and moving. So if you guys are new here, hopefully you guys will consider subscribing down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, let me know what you guys think about this stuff. Make sure your post notifications are on. And also make sure you guys are following me on all the socials, at DIY Salvage Guy. And make sure you guys check out the merch line, that way you can help support the channel. That way I can get better and better every single day. All my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you guys so much for being here and continuing to support me. Let's hop into this and let's get this thing steered. So I want to give you guys a little update. One thing that's really cool about trucks as opposed to working on Audis is that I don't really need a jack to really do anything. I can just hop right under here. So the problem that I'm having is, so this needs to hook, like there's a control arm, not a control arm, a tie rod that goes onto here and connects all the way up to that little spot right up there with the broken piece coming out. That's the steering gear of the box where all the power steering and all that stuff is so I need to I bought a new one of these but the problem that I'm having is that the bolts on the inside on the other side is actually on there still so that sucks and this is just turning so I can't actually take the piece off so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to cut it off because I don't need it and but if I can't then I might have to wind up replacing this whole lower piece, which I might need to do anyway, because there's a strong possibility that it's destroyed. I mean, you can see in here that this is all kind of messed up and mangled, so now it looks a little bent as well. But we'll see. We'll see what we have to do little by little. Right now, we're just going to start with this and see if we can do that. So. Not sure if I'll be able to get the camera going, um, but we'll just hop down here with the cutoff wheel and see what we get. All right, so we're gonna give this a shot. Got our sweatshirt on, protect us. Got our safety glasses on. So I'm gonna try to cut this out. So that worked pretty well. So we got this piece off. Now let's see if we can just hammer it out the other side. So it's entirely possible that this was a really stupid idea because the way the ball joints usually are is that this side is bigger than this side and it doesn't usually fit through there. So I might have just made a big mistake by doing that, which will force me to replace this whole thing and I might have to wind up doing that anyway. Or I might just be able to get away with replacing this tie rod. I'm not certain if this is one piece or if this is separate from this, but we'll see. We're gonna try to hit it with a hammer and pray that it comes out, but I don't think it is. And I think we're gonna wind up regretting that decision. So it's not even budget. All right, so we have some parts here. We're going to kind of try to match this up. So the big rusted one is the one that was broken off of the uh, pitting arm and the steering gear and also the high rod. So this is where it broke off. And these are all the pieces that came off of it. So. 
So these pieces all came out like this. And it just so this whole thing just pulled out crazy but so that's how that all was that pulled out of that side the driver's side or passenger side sorry and then you can tell that the pitman arm pulled right out of the, the gearbox right there so that whole two inch piece of steel just snapped in half so in order to get the steering as close to what it was as possible um, I'm going to now I shouldn't need an alignment or anything because I'm not taking anything for the alignment off the wheels are still straight but what I do need to do is match it up in terms of the actual uh, steering and everything so this is gonna be this way then I need to match up this I'm gonna count the threads try to match it up that way with this and then do the same thing for this and then we'll try to connect everything um, we got our cotter pins we got our castle nuts and we're just going to match it up. Hopefully it all works. Um, we still can't start the car, but we'll, uh, you know, little by little guys, we'll, we're making progress on this. Very happy with this so far. I think we need one more front end suspension part because it was damaged in the accident that I'm just seeing now. Um, should be an easy replacement and it doesn't really affect this, but the steering should still work even though it's a 6,000 pound truck and without power steering, I'm not gonna be able to turn the wheel, but uh, we're making progress, so very happy. Now, one thing I do want to point out, I'm not usually a big fan of having parts that you need to continue to grease, but this is a heavy duty truck and a, kind of a super duty kind of application, if you will. So having the grease application tips is extremely important. Um, the one that I bought does not come with that. So these are going to be sealed and the way that it is, is the way it's going to be forever. I'm hoping that it's going to be durable enough. I don't expect to use this truck very much but I am hoping that it will last this way. So we'll see. Um, I expect this truck to be driven maybe 2,000 miles a year. So I mean, this thing should really last me an extremely long time. Counted the threads, we got the tie rod assembly back together. The pitman on is already on, so we don't have to do anything with that. So now we're just going to try to get under there and put it on. I'm going to see if I can position the camera. Not sure if we're going to be able to, but I'll try to give you guys updates as I go along. seems to line up pretty well. I'm going to uh, throw this in a time lapse so that you guys don't have to watch. Alright guys, quick update. Got everything on. Got the wheel as straight as I think it could possibly be right now. I won't know for sure until we start driving. Um, so we're looking good right now. Got it all connected. Got the wheel straight. You can see it's all connected here. 
The only thing that we need to get is a cotter pin for that side. Um, I kind of destroyed this one. Uh, so we'll pick up another one. Car's not moving, car won't start, so we have some time. The other thing is this, this looks bent. So I'm gonna look into that, see if I can find another one of those. Looks like it's just two quick bolts, nothing crazy. Um, so it should be nice and easy to fix. Um, the rest of this is still wet. I'm hoping it's from the power steering fluid yesterday and it's not leaking anymore now. I'm gonna pop the hood and take a look, but for the most part, guys, we are looking good. If we can start this thing, we'd actually be able to drive it. So maybe once we get the starter in, we'll be good. But uh, you know, we're not gonna be able to do anything with that for a couple days. All right, guys, so a quick update. Making a lot of progress on it. Um, everything that I've done so far has been things that the auction said was not a problem. So I'm a little pissed off about that. The Copart said it was a run and drive, and it actually does not run. It does not drive, and it didn't steer either. So now what I did was I put two new tires on there, and I put um, a new steering gearbox. That's all on. I also put a new tie rod end that whole assembly. So now we have steering. Now it's sitting nice. Um, the last thing I need to do is get a new starter. I'm hoping it's a starter. I still don't know if it's actually an issue or not. So that's the last thing that we're going to do in order to see if it'll start. If it still doesn't start, we're going to have to start diagnosing some things. But at least now it will um, roll up onto the tow truck if I need to do that. And I can steer it and do all that stuff. So I'm very happy with the progress that I've made so far. And it's been a lot of hardship I'd say I'm working in the middle of the parking lot um, but you know for the most part we're, we're making progress and last thing to do is the, the stuff that I thought was the problem and that's the, the hood and also the actual fender itself and the headlights got the headlights home so we're almost done to be honest with you you know this will probably be a quick rebuild it's not taking too long we'll hammer out that bumper and everything and you know we'll be good so if you guys are new here, make sure you like, subscribe, throw me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you think about the build and all the other things I've been doing on this channel. So, hope you guys will um, try to pick up a wrench, buy a car, do whatever you got to do to try to become a DIY savage guy yourself.